Welcome back student. Now today we will discuss about the fuel and combustion chapter and the topic is the first analysis of combustion reactions. In the previous lecture video we already discussed that there are types of fuel that means the solid fuel, liquid fuel, gaseous fuel and what are those solid, liquid and gaseous fuel and what is theoretical air, what is excess air because air is required for the combustion takes place of the fuel. So obviously there is some amount of air is required for the amount of greater than the theoretical air that amount of air is basically excess air and we also discussed the stoichiometric ratio okay and equivalence ratio now if the equivalence ratio less than one or greater than one depending on that we can re we can call it as a lean mixer rich mixers or stoichiometric ratio we already discussed all about all these topics now we'll discuss on that enthalpy of formation so on the first one analysis of combustion reaction when you when you discuss that enthalpy of formation that means for the steady states suppose this is the combustion chamber in which so this is your combustion chamber in which the reactant that is carbon and oxygen are enter in a combustion uh, the combustion, uh, the combustion, uh, combustion chamber and we assume that this is the control volume okay this is the control volume this is the dotted line outside the combustion chamber it indicates that cv means control volume and the product which exit from the uh, combustion chamber that is basically CO2 when you react with carbon and oxygen and this uh, all this reaction basically occurs in the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and pressure is 0 0.1 megapascal which is a standard reference okay now uh, so this reaction of this uh, this uh, topic actually we assume that there is a it is a basically a steady state and steady flow devices okay first Second is there is no work transfer, obviously no uh, uh, kinetic energy changes and no potential energy changes. For this, we can also retain, for the, if we apply that uh, for the first law thermodynamics, we can retain as that HP plus QCV. Because in the react, when the carbon and oxygen react, react, uh, react with, uh, in the with, in, uh, combustion chamber, the amount of heat transfer that, uh, that occurs, that is QCV, that is minus 393, kilojoule per kg mole of carbon dioxide so it indicates that c plus o2 that is your reactant that is the enthalpy during the uh, enthalpy of the reactant plus during reaction the amount of heat transfer takes place that is qcv so hr plus qcv so is equal to this this one so that is co2 that is your enthalpy of product that is hp okay now you can also written as that hr is basically ni into hi plus QCV summation of product NiHi. So this indicate the Ni means number of mole of uh, reactant and corresponding enthalpy plus amount of heat transfer takes place is equal to in the product the amount the number of moles that uh, is in your product reaction that is Ni into Hi means enthalpy of the product for the uh, yeah, for the product uh, uh, exhaust product actually okay so this indicates this one now as you know by because uh, we already uh, have some idea that enthalpy of all the elements enthalpy of all the elements of the standard reference state that standard reference state indicates the pressure is 25 degrees celsius temperature is one atmosphere so at a particular standard and refined state the enthalpy of all the elements that is your C and O2 that is assigned the value of zero okay that means the enthalpy of reactant is your zero right now you know that QCV that is the heat transfer takes place during reaction that is measurable that is minus 393 522 uh, kilojoule per kg mole of carbon dioxide that is equal to so QCV is equal to HP because HL is 0 that QCV is equal to HP and QCV value is minus 393.522 so that equal to QCV that equal to HP that equal to this one because uh, if you see that uh, this is the uh, now this is actually this is known as enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide similarly it can also return as defined reactants it can be written as for the like if the carbon methane and oxygen react in the as a reactant and it is product is co2 and h2o so obviously the enthalpy formation for the carbon dioxide it also can retain as for the um, uh, for the, uh, at the at the standard state that will be my, this same also so this is known as the enthalpy of formation so this is the enthalpy of formation uh, 
during the reaction takes place actually of carbon dioxide at standard refined state that is 25 degrees centigrade at one atmosphere that is HA and it is designated at HF0 CO2 that means at standard state at standard set it indicates zero means that at standard set the product the enthalpy formation of carbon dioxide that is used that is equal to this one okay now uh, you can also see in your uh, book uh, suppose this is a uh, this is the uh, chart in which you can see that so this is uh, this is the chart in which you can see that so this is the enthalpy formation and gibbs formation so gibbs we will discuss later Suppose this is a substance, this is product. Suppose this is a CO2 is your product in this topic. So this is CO2 here, is a gas, and molecular weight for the CO2 that is 44, fine. And what is HF0? HF0 indicate the value enthalpy at the standard refined state. Standard refined state means that is a 25 degree centigrade and one atmosphere. That is minus 393.522. So this is one. So this one is your uh, minus 393 522 so this also calculate from your chart so this is your chart you can see that in your book okay uh, and uh, and this is called basically enthalpy of formation okay now this is known as enthalpy of formation similarly if, if it is written as or defined it can be substance or defines that product may be that uh, like if the product is your uh, methane or ethane or any other types of butane, propane, uh, heptane. So these are the products if it happens. Uh, then you can return as HF0 at CH4, C2H4 corresponding this. Uh, the value of the chart you can return as this one. So that will be the enthalpy formation at reference state. And it is designated with HF at corresponding 0 and the product that indicate the for the formation enthalpy formation for that particular product here it is carbon dioxide similarly it can be written as methane but the value will be changed from your chart because as you know that the reactant that is your standard element okay this is the element the the element of the enthalpy means enthalpy of the element at a standard defined state that is basically zero so that's why the enthalpy formation that is your heat transfer takes place okay that is your basically your the enthalpy formation okay so all this topic actually we are just only consider that is your only for steady flow steady state devices if it is assumed that now if it happens so that if this state is unsteady state means so the reaction that is takes place 25 degree centigrade at 0 0.1 megapascal when the carbon and oxygen enters and when it exit we assume that the temperature is constant but that is not happened that is varying the temperature pace are also so in that particular case uh, for the if, if this state we consider as the unsteady state and unsteady flow so we can assume that for a particular at any pressure and any, any temperature if it is uh, 28 degree celsius 29 degree celsius at 0 0.2 megapascal so particular this type of conditions mean in practical cases the enthalpy formation that will be the H star at particular at any temperature at any pressure that will be the enthalpy formation of a standard refined state and pressure plus the enthalpy difference during the uh, when it is changed from 298 one atmosphere to any temperature any pressure so it can also written as HTP is equal to HF0 that is your standard reference enthalpy for the product and plus the enthalpy difference during the uh, during the change of during the change uh, or from the refined state to at any pressure and any temperature it also can be written as in this form also okay so for, it is only applicable for unsteady state otherwise for we are assume that only uh, this one that we are considered that is a steady flow steady devices so it can return as easily from the chart okay Now, the first law for reactive system, okay, we already discussed that first law applied for the combustion reaction. Now, first law for reactive system, suppose this is your uh, combustion reaction, or means combustion chamber in which the N1 mole or N2 mole, the reactant takes within the chamber, takes place within the chamber when the reaction takes place and the product is N3 and 4. Suppose it is assumed that it happens that with, within the out of, outside of the combustion chamber we assume there's a total line that is your control volume 
okay and in this uh, in the reaction so n1 plus n2 is equal to n3 plus n4 uh, in that time if it happens that uh, there is some heat transfer that is qcb and the work transfer if if we assume that there is work transfer takes place that is your wcb then the steady flow uh, steady uh, steady state steady flow energy equation that becomes actually for that particular case if we apply the uh, first law thermodynamics that will be that hr plus qcb is equal to hp plus here wcb it is included okay Similarly, it can, it can also retain us in this form also here HR in terms of NIHI. So, NIHI indicates the number of moles of reactant and uh, enthalpy of the reactant. Okay, it's a summation. All the, sum, all the summation of the reactant as well as the indicates the product. And this is the heat transfer takes place during uh, uh, combustion and the work transfer during combustion. Okay. Now, HI, that is the enthalpy, this is the enthalpy formation, that is HI, okay, HI can be written as this term also, so HI dot plus delta HI, okay, plus QCV is equal to NI into HI, HI product, total uh, uh, total enthalpy, means uh, enthalpy of the product, uh, summation of the uh, summation of the total enthalpy in the product, that will be HI dot HI zero, that is, that indicates your uh, standard reference state which is discussed previously and plus delta H is the, uh, the difference between the standard reference state to at any pressure at any temperature plus WC. So this is the first law for reactive system. Now it's a heat formation. Now, as you know that uh, heat formation already discussed but we just take let's take a new an example that uh, methane that is CH4 okay that CH4 basically react with the oxygen means methane uh, react with the oxygen and it forms in the reproduct uh, phase that is CO2 and H2, okay? So from the chart, uh, what you see that from the chart of the HFG that particular standard reference state, uh, pressure and temperature, all the value of like uh, methane, oxygen, carbon dioxide and H2, first note down here, uh, from the chart, from the reference chart which is shown already. So this is your chart from uh, this chart means enthalpy formation, okay? Enthalpy formation of various substance at standard pressure and standard temperature for corresponding like CO2, CO2 gas, H2O gas, H2 liquid, methane, ethane. Okay, so all this term already you can see this uh, from this type of chart. From this type of chart, you can easily calculate the uh, enthalpy uh, at the standard reference state. So that will be your minus uh, 74 HGM1 per kg mole. So this type of, but uh, the H of 0 O2 because the standard, uh, in standard reference pressure and temperature, the element that is basically 0, enthalpy is formation is 0. So that's why 0 here. And uh, you know that uh, enthalpy heat formation that is equal to QCV and it is equal to delta HR at standard pressure at standard temperature. That is equal to delta H that indicates the standard reference, standard heat of reaction that is delta H is equal to NCO2 HF0, this one, plus minus of uh, this one, okay. So, NCO2 indicates here, NCO2 is 1 here, CO2 is 1 mole, and H2O is basically 1 mole, okay, H2 is your 2 mole, and uh, CH4 is 1, and O2 is your 2, okay. So, so in this fashion, uh, if you put all these values here in terms of NCO2 is equal to 1, in, in terms of NCO2 is 1 mole, so 1 into HFC2 is your minus 393.845 plus NH2, NH2, H2 is here 2 mole, so that is be into 2 here, into H2 enthalpy formation of enthalpy standard reference data from the start, that is minus 241. If you put this here, minus of NCH4, so CH4 is 1 here, enthalpy, that is 1 CH4, so NCH4 1 into HF, uh, at reference state enthalpy formation of for uh, methane, okay, that will be CH4 that is minus 74831. That will be uh, if you put all this value and NO2, uh, you are basically 2, but the, this value is 0. So after all, this term will be uh, cancelled, means 0, okay. So if you calculate all this value, you can get this uh, uh, kilojoule, uh, this amount of kilojoule that is the enthalpy formation means heat formations uh, during the heat of uh, during heat of the combustion means uh, during the combustion takes place and this is also called the heat of combustion okay 
Now, heat of, what is heat of, uh, heat of reaction? If you see in a particular plot, so this is the age and temperature, it's enthalpy and uh, temperature plot, you can see that, suppose it's a line that indicates the uh, heat of, uh, means heat of uh, reactant, and uh, that is your heat of product, that indicate line. Okay, so that indicate line indicate your heat of product. So this, if it is a heat of product, and this is the heat of reactant and this is the temperature suppose this is a 298 kelvin so corresponding 298 kelvin here cut this point and this point also 298 so this is basically your heat of reaction okay this is your basically heat of reaction because of heat of reaction that is nothing but uh, delta h okay uh, heat of reaction you can also write the written as hp minus hr because from this idea your heat of reaction is the difference between the enthalpy formation of the product minus of enthalpy formation during reactant. So the, uh, this is the plot in which you can see that the in enthalpy temperature plot, this is the enthalpy line and temperature for the reactant. So this indicates at particular temperature 298 Kelvin. So this point it is cut here for the reactant and corresponding if you draw the line corresponding this point it also 298 at state. Similarly at is also into one atmosphere line. So uh, so this is uh, this is the gap so this is the gap, this is the difference between this line to this line. So this is your heat of reaction and this is your delta HR which you already calculate and that is your HP minus HR. HP means enthalpy of the product minus HR. HR is your heat of reactant. Enthalpy of product that is your enthalpy of product. So in this case, minus enthalpy of reactant. So this is your enthalpy of reactant which is also written in this form. So this is your heat of reaction or heat of combustion. So Graphically, you can see that it's a heat of reaction. Okay. So the now internal energy of combustion. We already calculate the enthalpy, means heat of combustion or enthalpy. Okay. Enthalpy during the combustion takes place. What is the enthalpy formation during combustion takes place? We already calculate. Now one important point or one important thing is that you have to calculate the internal energy of combustion means during the uh, during the combustion takes place of the reactant okay in between reactant and in the particular combustion chamber so obviously there is some ignition point or some igniter so that the ignition takes place and the combustion takes place uh, and the product uh, are there and the sun heat transfer takes place uh, as you know Obviously, there are some heat transfer depending on the city exothermic or endothermic, and there are some work transfer takes place. But uh, we already have, we are just we already assume that in some cases, uh, some cases that um, there are some uh, steady flow devices means there is no work transfer, no kinetic energy changes, no pore pressure changes. But there are some cases also up there between actually these are practical cases in which. We as you wish you we can see that there are actually there are change in the kinetic energy change potential energy change and the, it is not follow the steady state uh, or steady flow so in that particular case we also calculate the enthalpy now we have to calculate the internal energy of combustion now what is internal energy internal energy you can get idea from the first law thermodynamics because you know that the internal energy basically the internal energy basically u okay so q plus u is equal to q minus w is equal to u okay so uh, as you know that this is internal energy so internal energy uh, is basically your uh, as you know that enthalpy what is enthalpy enthalpy is your h that indicates the, your heat capacitor heat uh, substance within the particular uh, system okay the, the amount of heat uh, present or amount of heat capacity are there uh, that indicates the basically your enthalpy now enthalpy basically your h is equal to u plus pb i think all of you have get some idea from your basic engineering thermodynamics that h is equal to u plus pb so you i think all of you know that and u is equal to h minus pb okay so this is we have to write here just u is equal to h minus pb because when you calculate in the same uh, in the same fashion or same manner that the internal energy takes place during the combustion that is your u r t means internal energy uh, reaction of the product that is basically up minus ur that indicates the internal energy of the product minus internal energy of the reactant because when you calculate the in, uh, enthalpy of uh, 
enthalpy of the reaction that is enthalpy reaction that is H P minus H R. In similar fashion, it can also written as U R is equal to U P minus U R. Okay. So you know that U uh, P also written as that U uh, P is also written as H P minus P uh, P P minus P. Yeah. Sorry. So P P. So when it is U P, you can also written as okay. So for this particular type of case, so this is your H. Okay. Now H P that is your basically uh, your H F zero plus delta H already you calculate. Okay. Minus P U P. Uh, it is a summation of product. If it is written here in terms of P here, it can also written as P. Okay. And it is also I. So it can also written U P also in this same fashion. Okay. So in terms of U P. You can return in this form because U P is equal to H minus P B for the product. You can see also H is equal to you know that enthalpy at a particular state that is your enthalpy at the standard reference state plus the enthalpy uh, difference between the reactant and the product. So this is your the two terms minus P B that is your and this indicates the U P minus this indicates your U R. Now. So this is the normal case, but if all the gaseous constituents are considered as ideal gases, if all the gaseous constituents are considered as ideal gases, then the volume of liquid and solid is assumed to be negligible compared to gaseous volume. So, if all the gases, if any reaction takes place, and in a particular reaction, if it is happened, so there are some solid, liquid, and gaseous formation are there. Then the volume of liquid and solid is assumed to be negligible compared to the gaseous volume. So it is basically neglected, and it is basically assumed that for the volume of liquid and solid that is zero. Okay, and compared to the uh, gaseous volume, because gaseous volume we just consider, but liquid and solid volume we not we, just, we do not consider here. Okay, so. Enthalpy or internal energy for this case, you can also written as H minus P B. You know that U is equal to H minus P B. So U R P it also written as H R P minus P B. So P B basically, if it assume that it's an ideal gas, then you know that if it is a totally I gaseous solution, if there is no solid or no liquid are there so that is basically it follows if it is a ideal gas that you can say that p is equal to rt so in p is equal to nrt also so minus of pb minus pb in terms of also written as minus of p in gaseous product minus in gaseous reactant so just see so u is equal to h minus pb where it is come because h is equal to u plus pb so u is equal to h minus pb So H is equal to U R P. So H R P minus P V. P V basically, as you know, if it is a total gaseous solution, so it can follow the ideal gas equation. So P V is equal to N R T. So here minus R T. Okay, minus and this N indicate your product and reactant. So N gaseous product. So N gaseous product minus N gaseous reactant. So In some cases or in maximum cases, it happens so that this happens actually. There are some solid, liquid, and gaseous volume. We assume that we also calculate the volume of liquid and solid is neglected or negligible compared to the gaseous volume. So the internal energy of the combustion during the combustion, the change of enthalpy or change of internal energy that also written in this form also. Okay. Okay thank you very much for listening and watching me and goodbye